All right, this is going to be a quick little tutorial on a pretty fun warden start of the game. Um, the whole point of this start is to get a really strong warden ally. I think he's the strongest warden you can get to. Um, that's not random. Uh, and just have him be your buddy and kill everything for you. So let's see. Let's go to new game. We're going to create a new character. We really only care about intelligence. Let's just grab like 21 intelligence. And then throw the rest around. See what we get. We don't need that much intelligence. So let's just put the rest in strength. And ego. I want our ego to be okay. Physical mutations. We're going to grab wings to make overworld travel a little bit faster. And then we're going to take force bubble, not force wall. With these two combined, you can get it out of any above ground area, no problem. And then for another ability, let's just take, how about space-time vortex and night vision. Now let's do telepathy, I suppose. Just so we don't have to move so much when moving or when going town to town. We're going to go to the warden start this time because you get plus 300 rep with wardens, which you can use to trade in for some pretty good allies. Again, we're going to start with wayfaring because we don't really care about Joppa giving us harvestry. <clears throat> and then for our purposes, I'm just going to turn on Explore Zone just so I know where our starting mayor is and our warden. So it looks like they're on opposite sides. This is just a wish you can turn on. So you don't have to spend uh, forever looking for your starting NPCs just to save some time to show in the tutorial. These random starting towns can be a little bit crazy to laid out, so I just want to get this going. All right, let's turn that off. So we have Shekinah, we have Wayfaring, we have Wings. So we should be pretty good. First thing we're going to do is we're kind of far away from Joppa's Ruins. So I'm going to stick to the Salt Pans because getting lost there is a lot more manageable than getting lost in canyons. We're going to fly on over and then fall down, of course, over to the dead body of Argive. We're going to pick up some Reshef knowledge and trade that in for experience. We're going to pick up the historical site info. And then we're going to start flying on the over map check out the historical site for some experience, get a quick level up, let our game load in, alright, we can leave instantly because we have light, and then we're going to go to wayfaring, we're going to pick up salt pans, go to our mutations, we're going to rapidly advance wings later on, so we don't really need to pick up anything right now because we're going to level up enough to where it's not going to matter. So now we go to the salt pans. Pick up two levels there.
pick up some more chef knowledge, pick up some free water. Water ritual. Oh, it looks like our wardens have some conflicting reputations. But we can rapidly advance wings. And so we can take burgeoning, clairvoyance, or stinger. Clairvoyance is probably the one we want to take. Stinger would be random, but it'd be a good starting weapon with a guaranteed 7 penetration. Let's try doing... Burgeoning is also fun, but it's also pretty deadly. Let's go with clairvoyance for now. Rapidly advance our wing, so it's a little bit harder for us to fall down. We're going to go around water ritualing everybody. And then we're saving all our good little secrets for the wardens over here. So we can't give him any. So let's try getting some secrets from the pariah. Let's go over here and water ritual the high priest. The location of a cider week, that's pretty good. If we won't care about money. So we still can't give him anything. Our warden Esther shirt her. So let's get out of here. We have picked up some knowledge. We're now level 5. We have level 3 wings. Let's start swooping. Picking up jungles, canyons. Those are the big ones first. So we've masked, maxed out Wayfaring. And then with Flight, we're going to really make some distance on the overmap pretty fast. So we don't have to worry about that. We're just going to be ignoring Ruins for now. Our Lair, we can check out the Lair. If it's anything bad, we could always just fly away. Some of them give experience. We found a Hunter. That's a good one. We'll come back to that one later. We go to Kiakia. We talk to our warden friend here. So we're collecting a lot of warden rep. Can't get any additional rep with them for now. We can pick up cooking for free from the mayor. Pick up some secrets from the mayor. Tells us where Dromad Caravan is. That's nice. Pick up some free water. Fall down. We're still a baby with our wings. <clears throat> but now that we've picked up some stuff, we are going to... Uh, here's another little thing. Don't forget, you can always pick up a guaranteed corpus book for fungal infections and a guaranteed advertisement for a legendary shop. So that one's a gem cutter, which would have some pretty okay stuff to have. But for now, we're just going to fly away. Or actually, let me see. We have a decent amount of water. We can actually pick up... Ural will always have a small stone. Oh, it's going to take all our water, though. The small stone is the recoiler, but we don't have any money, really. So we're just going to go away for now. The next step to this little start is we're going to fly 
and then stopping out the layers. Legendary Horned Chameleon. Okay. Legendaries you can water ritual with if they're neutral. Passing by a lot of goat folk villages. But we're going to fly to Ezra. And then we're going to talk to Warden 1FF. Oh, but we need oil to begin the ritual. So this is our buddy that we will hopefully get to in a moment. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to see if anybody's selling oil here. Usually no. The, Yila Haj also has a recoiler for this place. And then don't forget Six Shrew right here. Six Shrew has a lot of really fancy stuff. So they are selling a trinket with oil. A combustion cell and with some drams of oil we can water ritual our good friend over here and then we have just enough to get them to join us as an ally and then if you examine them you'll notice let me see physical features they have some tungsten carbide hammer fists an eater crest a weird artifact now that weird artifact they have is a wide beamed rail gun, which really messes some folks up. And now they're our buddy. Uh, 1FF has 250 health, a very, very good amount of armor, as well as a shield that gives them an additional 4 armor. I think it's somewhere in the area of 14 to 20. And now they're our buddy. And so we are level five. We have an ally that can pretty much take on the world. And we're ready to start playing the game, actually. So now let's just kind of go see what our friend can do. So let's go fly on over. Careful with flying over lakes and rivers. You can still get lost there decently. Let's head on over to the ruins of Joppa. We're going to go into the waterlogged tunnel with our, our new ally. Waterlogged tunnel is going to be right around over here. And we're going to go pick up some of the dead miners in here. Let's just check the log. Let's see if it reveals how much damage they do. And it didn't say how much they did, but they did shoot that snapshot. 47 damage, there you go. It shoots out fat photons, which I don't think can be dodged. But, and they do a boatload of damage. And so they're causing you trouble. You just walk on around with your robot friend. Because one FF will go crazy. <laughs> we actually got shot by one FF. <laughs> 
but that is pretty much the start to get your robot friend as you can see he can do or they can do a lot of damage enough to kill you if you're not careful but uh, very simple to do just go water ritual all of the wardens and just try not to get shot by your friend <laughs>